I haven't hit the record button yet, but now I did because I did, and this is the start of Back when Notice episode 37, starring Hydroxide Amp. Because Hi, I Team Awesome. Talents, Team Awesome for life, homie. Team Awesome for life. Yeah. Hey guys, what's up? This is Hydro. We're joined by this collection of awesomeness. Uh, we are Team Awesome, and we will do random things to do more random things because that makes sense. Yeah, I just mm. blabber. I'm gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep going until someone stops me. So, yeah, cups. Stop cups hiding. hold liquid in the watermelon. And, okay. <laughs> cups hold watermelon. All right. So, uh, let me just introduce everyone in this week's show. We got uh, the electric shock circuit breaker himself. Oh, I like him. Sassy. Oh, I just came up with that right on the fly. Right on the spot. Yeah, right on the fly. We have Kitty just, Kitty Meow Meow Scratch Grass Kitty Cat herself, Cat. Hi. Wow, that was... Yeah. We that have, was we have a legitimate potato. What was that one also on the spot? Hmm? There's more? Fred. Dave. Oh, that's what I said, my name Pretty sure all of that was on the spot. It was, I totally made up all of it. He's not a potato. He's an Irishman. I'm not... I'm What's totally the difference? Shady. <laughs> Guys, we have a singing bird on this show. Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> what the? You said right. singing. He looked. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's lyrical phoenix. That noise. Ah! I want you to. I want you to always associate lyrical phoenix with that noise and nothing he's ever said. Uh, and then we have the one that looks at the stars in a, I don't know, contorted manner, twisted zodiac. Yeah. Wait. Get it? Me? Yep. A contorted yeah, matter, yes. Get it, get it, look at the stars, zodiac, contorted twist, yeah, I'm funny. Huh. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Ah. Noise, I swear. It's gonna haunt my dreams. It's gonna be there. I've decided I'm, that I, I would swear, use that when I want to talk. My eyes are gonna close, and I'm gonna hear that noise. Ah. Th that one, yes. That, I'm gonna be like, it's gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna sleep. Ah! Yeah, cause that's exactly how it's gonna go. And, it's, it's gonna be like one of those videos where it's like, viewing over a calm meadow and it's got some nice music in the background, and then a screaming zombie pops up when you least expect it. It's like, ah! What's oh up God. with that? Wait a second. Zombie. I'm gonna make, uh, now I'm gonna make a video of a meadow. And then I'm just gonna have a picture of Lyrical's face and that noise pop up. <laughs> I'm gonna put like oh, really like expected. calm and use it. Oh, by the way, Tony. What's up? Uh, our senior bowling picture. I finally got it. Someone bought it. Yeah, I know. And then Ian Wall Ian gave it to me. <laughs> so uh, my, our ex football game today. bowling coach decided to sell our mine and Mark's picture from senior bowling last year. He sold it for ten dollars. We thought to do why? Because he, I don't know. He sold a picture of us <laughs> for ten dollars. We, we made him ten dollars. <laughs> don't worry, I have it now. You have it now? Yes. <laughs> the, the, Ian may have just walked into Abe's office and just taken it off his desk and came out and handed it to me. <laughs> <laughs> so if Ian dies, it's not my fault. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> He's like, I swear there's a picture of you guys laying around, and he just walks into Abe's office, grabs it off the desk, and hands it to me. That's beautiful. And we're totally not incriminated, yeah. Ian, by telling this right now on the podcast that people actually listen to. Yeah, please, because Abe uses the internet. He he told me it was my first sub, man. <laughs> he told me what. Sorry, Ian. It's like, Ian, Ian's gonna die. We... It's like you hear screaming in the background. Wow, I can hear him from all the way over here. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> if, if you think that's bad, wait until you hear Mrs. Lyrical Phoenix. <laughs> that sounded oddly sexual. It's gonna throw yeah. that out there. Um. Okay. Yeah. I mean. Oh, oh god, oh, I did not mean it that, oh god, no, oh, oh god. <laughs> oh god, oh god, uh, sorry, sorry, Rachel, that's not cat. What? No, 
Actually, she, she's a much better singer than I am, so... Oh, my God, you oh. cut off just as you said much, and all I heard, muff. And I was like, oh, no. she's a much Stop. better singer. <laughs> she is a much better <laughs> singer than me. Cats, stop talking on something randomly. What? Yes, just randomly. Go, go, say what's oh, on your head. Why? Go, tell us Wait, what's on your mind. I, I don't yeah. understand yeah. what's yeah. going yes. on. Yes. This yes. is very confusing. Oh, and... Damn it, Cat. Circuit, talk about something randomly. Good job, Circuit. Damn it, Circuit! <laughs> You had you see, one job! I will probably rewatch it this episode one just job. to hear what that sounds like. You had one job! Alright. So, you know how a little bit of a while ago we were just all adding each other on I Facebook, yeah? I never accepted that job. <laughs> Except for me. You so much. Besides, you don't want me to say anything random. So you know what you know what happens when I say it's random stuff. I didn't care, I just wanted someone to talk. <laughs> Uh, you know, Cat actually brings up a topic. And yeah, I'm gonna bring up a topic. I have a topic. All right, go ahead. Uh, all right, you, uh, Kitty Cat. Um. Okay. So since we were all on Facebook a little while Facebook, ago, being on Facebook, it gives that little green notification saying that you're online. Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. You know? I, I have seen this gray notification that has. Yeah. Okay. A little dot by your name means you're online. Uh huh. For for us, it's green. For you, it's gray. Thank you. <laughs> but um, basically, uh, people like to message me whenever I get online because maybe because I'm never online. But um, this guy, he messages me, um, sweet, uh, hey, hey, are you home? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, sweet, you know where this guy? Um, let's let's call him Joe. You know where this guy Joe lives, right? Really and I'm like, uh, Joe? And he's like, I guess you haven't met him. Uh, he failed ninth grade last year, so he's stuck with us. And I'm like, oh, yeah, that guy, I know him. And so <laughs> he's throwing a party, apparently, across the gully from me, because apparently he lives near me. Gully? Way to, yeah. like, sell out Joe. You know, you just embarrass Joe on the internet. Yeah, sorry, Joe. Oh, Joe doesn't... Joe probably won't watch this. Joe's gonna watch... Joe's a loyal subscriber of mine. Joe is definitely, like, one of the subscribers. don't even know. That's not even his real name. Anyway. Why are you lying um, about Joe right now? They're just going to be Joe. Joe. Alright, anyway. Anyway. Anyone who's named so, Joe comment on this, please? <laughs> I please. Like I'm sorry, all people that are named like, Joe that are not yeah, this guy. Cat, cat's evil. Yeah, she be fun Joe's. Yeah, but basically, he's apparently throwing a really big party at 10.30. Okay. And so, um, Bye. this guy, he's telling me that the police might come, and if I hear them, or see them, just, like, message this him, because <laughs> it'll be funny. Did he invite you? What? He just, he didn't no. invite you, he no, just said... No, he's not, this guy isn't going, he just heard about the party, and so he's telling me about it. So, uh, um... okay. So, yeah, it's supposed to be, like, a hundred plus people, because he's gotten kicked out of two schools. Oh. This guy is kind of icky, and I don't like him. He's, so like icky. he's got he's got that air about him that he thinks he's he's like everyone thinks he's amazing, and he knows everyone thinks he's amazing, even though he's not. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know that kind of person. Mm -hmm. okay. He's one of the cool kids, I like the icky cool people. kids. Oh, one of those kids. people. Yeah, yeah. Icky, he's like a, he's icky, like a popular icky, kid. Icky, Our school icky. doesn't have popular kids because it's too small for that, but. A popular kid is someone everyone just kind of recognizes in the hallway. Yeah. Except he might be popular for the wrong reasons. Hi, you doing, cool kid? How what? You, cool kid. Uh, uh, he said, how you doing, cool kid? Dave, why are you just messaging me these random things? That's great. I, I was literally just messaging you my interpretation okay. of your speech. I'm <laughs> Joe. <laughs> Can you read okay. it? Dave, can you read it? Can you read it? Well, I have to read it. Okay, She's good. the one who received him. Can Joe, that it? guy, party, gully, twisted, no watch, not real, Joe equals fake, life is lie, dead, Ele uh, 1030, shoot them, pew pew, cop street, <laughs> 1000 plus, that's nothing, like 5 is too much, but 100 is way too little. <laughs> yeah, that's what? what I heard. That's, that's, that's about what I that's heard. That's effectively too. what I heard during the story. <laughs> pew pew, right. cops shooting. See, now I wish I was I could recall it and we could all give our interpretations of that story. And like, I don't know, some kids would be like, didn't have orange soda, didn't pay attention. Nice. 
<laughs> no orange, no pen, no attention. No, no. Huh. Yep. So when I'm ever telling work. a story to circuit, I always start it with the lead character had an abundance of orange soda around him. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty nice. Pretty nice. Circuit, you haven't been talking much today. What's up, buddy? Out of orange soda. Damn, circuit. <laughs> God. <laughs> I have been drowning in orange soda. Oh, come soda. on! You talk so late! I don't care. He's always late. Uh, by the way, by the way, uh, the guy that is telling me all this stuff says hello. Hi! Hi. Tell him his story was shared on Background Noise episode 37. I did. Sorry, and I, I just... that in. Okay, I'll just message that to him right now. I think he's a subscriber, so he'll probably wait, get wait, in is he? Yeah! Tell him I love him. I love my subs, okay? No judge. Well, yes, I love your subs too, because they're the only reason why I'm somewhat... Episode what? Yes. Episode... 37. 37. Episode Back. <laughs> and he's gonna be like, you weren't supposed to tell anyone! So you see for Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> on subs for me, I cry on the inside. What do you mean inside? He says, no, um, cool, when he, I told him that he loves you. Oh, that's... Tell, tell, send him a tear. Okay. Make sure that you say it's from Hydra, though. Says... Hydra says it's a... a, a tear face. A, a tear face. <laughs> yeah, if he doesn't say I love you back, BB, I don't... I'm not, I don't know how to <laughs> What? You're just sending me these messages. I've been so, doing it for quite some time. Back to 37, the Facebook episodes where no one can see your Facebook. It's yep, you can see my Facebook. Hold on. <laughs> Got nothing to hide. I'm the only one not doing all this Facebook bull crap. <laughs> yeah, dog. Okay, so... As Dave's screen's loading. Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> People you may know, I know like everyone on that list. I know none of them. I I honestly didn't even see his. I know Palm Nothing Palm. actually popped up. For me. That's that's probably good because I, there was cousins and people. I will say that one person who was on that list has been on a podcast. First name. Who? Uh, I'll just. It's uh, Dave, Emily. 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 Yeah, Emma and her bae, Zach. Oh my goodness, he says, um, to tell you that he loves you too, but not in a creepy way, because that would be creepy. And he'd be getting in my way, send excuse me. <laughs> I, <laughs> send, send, I finally send, found the fan fic, fic I is me. Wait, wait, tell him what? Once uh, I go back. No, no, tell, tell him whatever you want. Alright, alright. Right. come up with something whatever that you sounds want. like me. Alright. And then tell mean. me what you came up with. Um, make a penis joke. Oh, Forbidden love. It was a brisk autumn afternoon and school had just started. <laughs> so, so the Tony, you, you know what this is. I wasn't paying attention. Forbidden love. He says that he... <laughs> yes, I finally found it. Oh god, no! <laughs> I forgot how long this is. This is a good, like, it's a good, like five, seven pages seven long. Seven pages <laughs> And it's intense, like, oh it's god. Intense. So, we have alluded to this multiple, on other, multiple other podcasts. I think I said other, like, five times. And Ella, our friend, makes fan fiction, and it got really graphic, and we all read it. And it was hilarious. We couldn't look each other in the eyes we, for we probably, like, a good each other not ten minutes. We couldn't look each other in the eyes for probably, like, ten minutes, yeah. But, uh, See, after I must while, include the word hydroxide. <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Trying to find what? Fun check. Oh, it's not online. I'm sure it's online somewhere. No, it's not. It was only right. written in paper, and I have the only copy in front of me. Oh, wow. Yes, cat. Delicious coffee gift. Yeah. I could type oh, it up for you. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. could. Living on the edge. Try out the veg. The the veg. <laughs> yes, I want to try out the veg version of this website. Thank you. Betcha. You bet your ass I do. 
So, South Korea DVR. What has been going on in your lives? Anything? Fine. Anything cool? Anything? Black. Just a little bit of science. Oh, yeah, science, really. It's a little bit of physics. I'm just reading this, and I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, you're reading Cringe. it. I wiped it mostly from my memory at this point. Oh, my God. Um, mostly being flaw. Yeah. So, Circuit, how's being black? Uh, there's plenty of Kool-Aid. Okay. Yep. Or is Kool-Aid the only thing you have abundance of right now? Mm, now nah, there's soda, too. What kind? Uh, I found you. Grape. Uh, really? Oh, but by the way, we proved this wrong, obviously, because Ella used, um, she said that Rachel and I broke up over the summer. Oh, yeah. It yeah. Just, just so that, you know, you and I could, yeah. meh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. At top, proves you wrong, Ella. She's wrong, yep. She's wrong. Yep. Okay. Some bitch didn't know any better. Yeah, right. Now I'm gonna bring her on episode and, and play that clip of uh, Dave's hint on, but she didn't know any better. I don't care, I'll fight her. And Dave will fight her. I knew what. And then Cat would be I like, knew. why are you using my name? And then Twister would be like, I'm here. <laughs> no, Cat would just be like, what? Because she doesn't yeah, understand yeah. anything. Yeah, I, some, I just, I kind of, just. <laughs> you just kind of hey, exist Kat. right now. Cat, if you fight anyone, is it called a cat fight? I think so. Only yeah. if she wins. I no. Right. no, I think. That's... Okay, I'm stopping here. Oh God. <laughs> You're still reading it. <laughs> I've been reading it in the background. Just, I'm, I'm done. Stopping I here. got halfway through the second page. I'm like, no. You're done. Stop. Oh, we read that all too. That one. We day. read all of that. Oh I read, God. I read the solid like first three pages out loud. Yeah, and then things started to get. Yeah, and I handed it off to Emma. Emma. Yeah, and she read it. She loved it. Mala, mala, mala. Oh, she, like, she was so happy about it. She does like the greatest thing she's ever read. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Right. Sorry. So this guy says that he's going to go stalk the party pretty much. Okay. Pretty yeah, much. Perfect. Actually, and, and he used the, the best the best analogy or uh, okay. metaphor. I don't even know. Let's um, say it. Let's so, it. so I'm off to... <clears throat> Also, ah, ah, ah. I'm sorry, I'm sick still. I was just right. waiting for the You're sick? Home. I thought you were older sick. than that. Sick. <laughs> Seven. So he says, I'm off to stuck this party and watch them run like ants from water. Is that a hydroxide <laughs> ant joke? <laughs> Maybe. Probably. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, because apparently the place is supposed to come. Uh -huh. And that's uh, unusual because our town is supposed uh, to be in and innocent and small. In and in. in I'm sorry, okay? Cat, cat, can we in just in give in. you a bunch of big words to pronounce and then hear it? That's the podcast. In and in and in and in. <laughs> Say insulin. So he says hello, and the world needs to see the darker side to things a little bit more. Yes. Say Anamanaguchi. Anamanaguchi? Yeah. Is that. that <laughs> you just wrecked something? Dave's fun. By actually getting Dave's that like, correct. Oh, okay. I I can pronounce things when people tell me to pronounce them. Like okay, so sometimes I just stumble over my words. Okay, cat. Mm -hmm. Cat. So I'm gonna give you a phrase and you say it back. Okay. Uh huh. Toaster. Toaster. Fridge. Fridge. White privilege. White. Yo. 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 Oh God. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, so this is really weird. College story time. Um, uh, I was eating lunch by myself because all my friends had classes at the time, so I'm just like, I'll just go and grab food by myself. And I was sitting down, and this guy comes up to me, and he's like, what high school did you come from? And I'm like, you know, I, I said my town. He pulls out his phone, and he looks it up. He's like, oh, okay, so you came from, like, this part of, you know, New Jersey. And I'm like, yeah. And then it's like, have you ever thought about moving to Long Island? And I'm like, <clears throat> what? Like, and he's like, have you ever seriously thought about moving to Long Island? I'm like, why? He's like, we need to keep our white majority up, so oh my god, we should move there. Oh my god. Now, now, <laughs> it, no, 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 this is the funny part, is that I would have been pissed if the guy was actually white, but he was Indian. 
and he was telling me that Long Island needed to keep its white majority up. Okay, I can Just, understand okay, that. I actually, yeah, yeah I, can, I can get behind that. Uh, I'm confused like, and like, like it's like I know I'm I'm just, saying, as long as Wes wasn't so, white we're perfectly fine with that but so, but second he's a white guy talking about white majority <laughs> so question. Else. is that racist in a way I don't know I, it, actually kind of it is <laughs> because I, we're I, basically that with, basically what that means is that we're against white people being for other white people and yeah, that no, sounds no, I'm, messed I'm up, doesn't it? The, I'm talking about the Indian guy saying we need to keep our white majority up. Yeah, that's what exactly. I mean. Though. Like just the fact that the fact that we let the fact that as an Indian guy change our opinion of what he was saying. <laughs> no, I, I, not really. Oh, well, I'm asking. Uh, I still think it it's really odd that a different race says you need more of uh, <laughs> a different race. A different race in your where you're from is that well, racist? Not right. I, Get, well, I mean, not really, because I wouldn't say that was it's, racist. in a sense, it's kind of, well, no, because you said white majority, so it's not really promoting diversity. It's, it's actually kind of staving off diversity, but still, like, in a sense, it's not because he's a, he's supporting a different race, so it technically it's not racist unless it's self-hating, so. You know, I, I can sort of see, like, why he might want to, and I'm just going to say this out loud, because one of our close friends did this. Yeah, and you know he's a minority, and he used the fact that he was a minority to get a lot of scholarships for college. Mm-hmm. So was it it's me? Poss- no. no, it wasn't you. Oh, but it's possible want that he wanted to keep the white majority up, so that him and his friends could keep getting scholarships. Yeah. Oh my goodness! It's a freaking triangle scheme, or what do you call it? pyramid scheme? Yeah, eh, kind of. Triangle. No, well, no, not not really a pyramid scheme, but I just wanted to make that joke. Triangle. It's a That's triangle. Right. Wait, what's a triangle? It's a triangle. What's a triangle? Everything ah! a triangle. <laughs> Illuminati. Although Ooh. I do think this guy was slightly like odd in the head because when I said no, he sort of like laughed hysterically and then walked off. It could have been one big joke. You could it could have been. been. Just, no probably like a dare they're just random bitter parts that I have. He was here. probably dared to go up to the first white guy he saw. Yeah, yeah. That actually is a huge there's possibility. Now you think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, there's like there's like there's like only pieces of that The first white camera. guy you saw. Okay, you're gonna exit that door, and the first white guy you see, you're gonna ask a question. As soon as he exits the door, Mark's sitting there. He's like, white guy. <laughs> White guy points him out, walks over, asks him. Honestly, question. that actually sounds like something I pull on one of my friends. <laughs> but I didn't know the guy. He was oh, just that's, that's why. No, 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 no. I'm talking about. I'm talking about the guy who came up to you. Like I, I'd make him do something like that. It was also weird that when I told him where I lived, he looked it up on his phone and like found out which county I was in. I'm like, uh, that's why. Uh, you now have a new software. <laughs> He's stalking you. Seriously, I was just like, "What?" Although he didn't ask me my name, so he is. He already knows. Mark Fedora. Remember? Yes, Fedora? My, my last name is Fedora. Yep. Or Fedora. Oh my goodness, the euphoria. Yeah, it's actually euphoria, Fedora. Euphoria. Yeah. Man. Also, so you know how we were talking about pyramids and Illuminati? Yeah. yeah. A little while ago. Uh huh. Um. My friend, she has his pencil case, and it's just, it's gray, and it's cloth, and it's really nice. And uh, um, basically, she drew, like, this uh, stripe on it with her pen the other day because she was bored. And I was like, all right, so I guess you're going to continue to do this throughout the year. In my head, I didn't tell her that. So um, during math class, while she was looking up the board, I just drew a little triangle, Illuminati, with the, uh, with the eye in the center. And then she oh looks back. God. And then um, I, I'm, I, I just kind of look over towards the board. And I'm still holding the pen, though. And she's like, what were you doing? And then she looks down in her pencil case, and she sees the, the symbol. And she's like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at her butt. <laughs> no. Tucci. Tucci. Did we really just that's, do that's, that? That's a lyric from a song. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. Look, at, look at her uh, butt. Tucci. Who's that? Who's the artist? Isn't that Little Wayne? I think so. Yeah. Actually, yeah, I think it is. It sounds like something Little Wayne would have. Uh, 
What was the song, lad? I couldn't tell you what the song is now. I used to know that song. Oh, I think it's, it's called Anaconda. Moto. No. Right? Oh my goodness, no. No, it was Moto. Right? Yeah, I think no, it's motto, Anaconda. Motto, motto, it, was, motto. it was a motto. I always called it Moto. That's what it was. For some reason. Motto. Yeah, motto. It was, it was it's, by song. it's by Nicki Minaj. <laughs> what, Anaconda? Yeah. Every every dude Everybody on the knows internet knows what Anaconda is right now. Yeah, I know. That that was know. the thing I was using. I'm that was the Anaconda. quote I was using. It's the Nicki Minaj music video. Actually, the funny thing is Don't that Nicki Minaj actually actually yeah, said herself cool. that she didn't like the song. I mean, well, not, not, she didn't, not that she didn't like the song, but she didn't like the music video for the song. Who didn't? Nicki Minaj herself. She 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 announced that she actually didn't like the music video for the song. Well, then she shouldn't have done it. Yeah. Well. Maybe she just said the lyric, and they just edited everything. Could have been. Well, no, like, uh, if she didn't like the music video itself, why would she do it? You know, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was a decision after it was made. Wait, what was? Okay, she decided that she didn't like it after it was made. Mm-hmm. It's a, okay, it's a, it's a foresight kind of thing. It's no, not like, I, I it's like you went into it knowing that you weren't going to like it. About. We, we, we understand. Yeah, we understand. You don't have to get like upset. Um, yeah. See, like honestly, if you're an artist and you really don't like the, the music video, this uh, is uh, if you think it was like, a mistake, she probably could get it taken down, and they could put up a version of the video that's only lyrics or like a lyric, or they could do like a lyric video version instead. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, a lot of bands do lyric videos. Yeah, that actually is a big thing now. Yeah, so if she really doesn't like the music video, why not just make a lyric video and have that as the main attraction to the song? That would what? be a terrible idea. But honestly speaking, when it's, it, the amount of attention it got, she's not going to ever even think about taking it down. No, of course not. 184 million views. Yeah, exactly. So you're not going to take that down. Yeah. I do like the fact that she has a banana on the record player for scale. <laughs> it's an Imgur thing. Hashtag, it's just an Imgur thing. Hey, Dave, uh, can you know that saying you just said? Can you Hashtag put a banana it. next to it for uh, scale? A banana next to the, to the saying, hashtag. The saying you just said, could you put a banana next to it for scale? And then oh. the thing I just said, can I put a banana, a banana next to it for scale? scale? Do you want to put a banana beside text for scale? Yep. <laughs> I mean, so that's sure. what I just came back to. Mm -hmm. Okay, I uh, mean, Kat, what you came back to, can you put a banana, banana next to it for scale? Mm, what? Thank you. Hedra, can you put a banana next to your face for scale? Yeah, obviously. Make sure it's an incredibly small banana so you don't have to jump. <laughs> Did people Giant think I have a really yeah, big face? Yeah, trying to say that Hydra has a big head? No, 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 sorry, beside your entire body. <laughs> but then you know? people... What? No. But then it'll be a giant. But this is more of a lyrical thing. He's so you don't want to be a giant? No. Who doesn't want to be a giant? I don't. <laughs> Cat's a little kitty cat. Maybe she wants to be a gigantic kitty cat. I don't know. No, just then she got out of the box. Just stomp on buildings. You can imagine it just like fire burning in my eyes. Just crushing buildings and innocent people. There, um... Cat, how much sugar did you have today? <laughs> All of it. All of it. God damn it. All of it. <laughs> when people, when I'm in the middle of podcasts, uh... And people invite me to cons. Pretty sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh, when Cat, you mentioned stomping on building and stuff, it reminded me of Catzilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Catzilla. Yeah, it's, it's gonna happen someday. Someday. And then it also uh, reminded me. There's a benchmarking me. tool yes, named exactly. Catzilla. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness! Um, the other day. Uh, you know how Wheat has been obsessed with the, uh, what is uh, it? Oh, uh, yeah, I understand Gordon that. Freeman saved my life? Yeah. yeah. Gordon Freeman Gordon saved Freeman. my life. Copyrighted. <laughs> is it copyright? Um, no, I don't know. <laughs> Probably. But, uh, I was watching that video listening to the song, and I was scrolling down in the comments, and one of the comments... 
Hello? One of the comments uh, linked you to an IMDb page um, by this guy, J.J. Abram. It's Abram. Yeah, Abram. he's a very famous <laughs> Yeah. And he's going to be producing a Half-Life movie. I heard what? about this. I actually heard about 2016. this. 2016. Yeah, I heard 2016. about this already. Yep. Uh, I did hear about this like a few, like a week or two ago, I think. Mm-hmm. It's uh, gonna be great. Yeah, and yes. I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. Yes. Uh, I'm excited if it's, and I, and I think honestly speaking that Half Life is possibly one of the best things you could turn into a movie, because I feel like there's not much you can really fuck up. <laughs> you know, because like, like no, actually, hang on, because they can't end doing the whole um. What was that whole like Zelda cartoon where they made Link talk? Well, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying, but like there isn't a lot of ground for them to really well, yeah. screw things up with. On like games that have a okay, I'm not saying Halfway doesn't have a ton of detail because it does, but I'm it saying does. like a game that's really based on detail. And honest, like, it also sort of depends on how much they try to make. In the movie, yeah. if because like, they or either... if they like try, I think it would be if they made it into like a trilogy or something. Yeah, actually, yeah, they could never work. release the third movie. Oh my goodness! <laughs> <laughs> we won't release. We won't leave halfway through the movie until Valve released Half Life Three. Three. That way, oh my goodness, that's like the ultimate plan. Valve yeah. will have to release Half Life Three then. Right. But uh, there also there was also been talk for a really long time now of them making a Mass Effect movie. And I honestly don't know if I like the idea, just based on the fact that Mass Effect was a game about choices. Yeah, they would have and to decide on what is and what is not canon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it would be the kind of thing where they probably find they probably have to find a way to go like middle of the road with everything, or at least as at least as much as possible, you know? Yeah. So like I would think they. Or they could do a movie on it, like a background character whose choices were predetermined. That's true. Like um, as a side point of view. They did yeah, there's a, yeah, they did that with James Vega, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Was it official? Well, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. One second, circuit. I don't know if it was official or not. Uh, they, I know for a fact they do sell it in, like, uh, like Target and, like, Walmart. So I would think that you would have, yeah, since it's based on Mass Effect, they would have to either have some sort of licensing agreement with Mass Effect or be made by the people of Mass Effect. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, sorry. Right. Continue. Sorry, bud. All right. So, okay, this is this is about the whole like background character thing, and I mean, I know this is just a suggestion, but the one of the problems I see with that is actually with the idea of having things happen to the character rather than having the character able to. Okay, it's this whole thing with like story writing where you really don't want things to just happen to your character. You want your character to have influence within the story. So, maybe if they could have like. I don't know if there's some sort of like middle ground between a background character and and one of the main characters, but they could find a sweet spot like that where they where they have a little bit of an impact on the story. Yeah. But they yeah, also but they're also not like doing major major changes. Then that would be yeah. really good. That would be good. I honestly like don't get me wrong. I am a huge Mass Effect fan, but I just honestly don't like the idea of their Mass Effect movie because I just don't think that they're gonna do it right. Yeah. To be perfect. It's just there's so many different choices in Mass Effect. Yeah. Have to make something that's canon and something that isn't canon, and everyone would be upset that what they can or if it is canon. Yeah. And then some people would be upset that Shepard's male, some that it's female. Or you could, or you could do like a, you could do like a, okay, this is gonna be really expensive in the long run, but they could, if if they do something like this. What they could do is they could have maybe like two lines, maybe, and this is this okay, is going going down to two saying. extremes. So it's either going to be like one, it's going to be one set of movies where Shepard is good, always goes with a good choice, or always you know tr attempts to make the best choice, and then another line where Shepard is you know you basically do the um, well, it's the opposite of Paragon. Renegade. Renegade. Okay. Can yeah, I can I cut you, you off real quick, Circuit? Uh, they have a difficulty in Mass Effect that is that basically that yeah. you basically don't really have to do any fighting uh, yeah it's and like you a, basically it, basically it's called like theater mode almost or something along those lines right Nathan story mode I story think? mode or something like that where it's extremely little combat and it's mostly just the cutscenes 
And yeah. for people who don't want who want to watch it, it's more of like a movie. Mm -hmm. So I think that would negate the idea almost that you're saying, just yes, because it, it's already been done in the actual yeah, games. It's, it's already pretty much a movie. If so you turn yeah. Correctly. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so, like, the game itself, like, I always felt like Mass Effect was, like, a movie almost anyway. Even, like, the full, like, fledged, uh, like, battle scenes and, like, uh, like actually with full combat and everything at, like, the highest oh, difficulty. Because yeah. just, like, how good the, everything was done, like, the voice characters, they had some really, like, famous people do the voice characters for most of the characters. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the, it was like movie quality voice acting, and like I don't know when you have Seth Green in it. Seth Green, I know he's not like a big star, but every, like most people know who enough. Seth Green is. Like you had uh, oh, what's his name? I don't know. He's the guy who did James those. Vega. Oh, what's his name? I I know the picture of his face. Freddie something Jr. Freddie Prince Jr. Freddie Prince yeah, Jr. Yeah. did uh, James Vega. Uh, and Charlie, um, I'm sorry, Martin C Sheen did the elusive man. Um, ah, fuck. The one guy, I forget his name, uh, the one guy who was in The Matrix, the one, I, uh, this is going to be a terrible way to describe someone, but the black guy from The Matrix, <laughs> he did Admiral Anderson's voice. Huh? Oh, wait, I thought I recognized that from somewhere. And then throughout there were famous people who did other people's voices. I'm just not thinking of right now. Mm -hmm. And I just think that's pretty cool. Yeah. And it's weird when someone like I don't know. I think it's pretty cool, but weird at the same time when you have such good voice acting in a video game. That well, isn't yeah, done, because that it's isn't not really done by people who are well, no, like. I'm used to like like pretty good voice acting by people who aren't really well known. No, I, no, that's what I mean though. It's like it's we're not used we're not used to having like like legitimately well not no okay I don't want to use the word legitimately because because there can be some very there can be some very well known voices in in the world of video game voice acting yeah, or just voice acting in general like like okay this is probably someone that I bring up a lot but uh, Steve Bloom but still. It's one of those things where we're not used to having that in in the vegan medium so much because of because of how long we've gone without it, you know. Yeah. No, I know what you're saying. I um, completely agree because I was totally paying attention <laughs> and not downstairs get making tea and rubbing my cat. <laughs> Wait, you did what to cat? Rubbing his, his cat, not not, not, <laughs> not me. His his cat. What? Oh, I That'd can't turn strange. on my webcam. I thought I heard cat purring. No. Wait, listen. <laughs> Oh dear. Nice. Nathan, <laughs> <laughs> the ball. Tom, can you hear that? No. Wait, hold on. Purr, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> purr, you're you're gonna purr me out because I need I need to prove that you are real. <laughs> Guys, I think they're oh, cats again. Yeah, I heard it. Heard that time. That oh, there's more. And that more. My cat's better than Blackjack. No. <laughs> Blackjack is better than Blackjack. <laughs> I feel like he just has that as a sound clip and he's only done it once. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so using a soundboard that you got from the, from the IT department. See, I have to hold my head from my phone to my ear to hear you guys because I'm talking to it like it's actually a phone call. Hold on, I have to use my knife. I also it's decided to bring down a knife for no reason. Knife. For what? I thought yeah, you were bringing a cat. I am, but I'm opening a packet of tea. For? You to make tea. sick mother. Okay. I'm making they, tea, Jesus Christ. You're, not, you're killing your cat <laughs> on, while under the pat. While you're on the podcast! <laughs> hey, I'm look, so... there's no webcam, so we're fine. Oh, <laughs> oh God, I hear it screaming! Oh. <laughs> Mark. Yes? Or you watch the video, uh, just... Be prepared for an ambulance and fire truck. Wait, what? What are you talking about? You're going to about? try and rewatch the video. You can hear what it actually sounds like. Oh, your, yes. Your abomination scream. Oh, uh, no, the wait. box falling apart. Okay, so I want to go.
go back to like voice acting in the games or whatever. Yes. Uh, but I yeah. So I was always Yes, yeah, Dave making tea. Oh, sorry. I'll mute my mic. Hold on. <laughs> okay, so um, I, I honestly think uh, Halo has very good voice acting as well. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a game that... Uh, those are, I would say, done by more not well-known people, I would think. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's just... It's really cool when you have... Uh, the added, you're, it's basically like a mix between movies and video games. Yeah. And, I don't know, it's really cool sometimes. Hi, did you take my wire cutters? Can we call that a, a, a Mijio what game? Cat? Did I take your wire uh, cutters? Yeah. Cat, remember I left, uh, you're out of the box right now. So I don't know where you think they're. <gasps> I swear to goodness, oh. I put them on this table, and then they just like, poof, they disappeared. Like, I did not take them anywhere. Cat. They Why were on this cutter? table. Cat, your wire cutters are cat size. What am I going to do with cat size wire cutters? I can stop the ball. I, seriously, they were legitimately on this table. And mm, then they just disappeared, play. and I did not take them anywhere, because I didn't get up, like, all day. And, okay. like... I didn't take them anywhere, okay. and they haven't my, fallen on the floor. My main like, problem is, uh, why do you need wire cutters? Um, the, for the little eye pins, for the clay things. Oh, uh, okay. You know, Hydra, she's probably making a bomb to get out of that box. She's out of the box. I let her out of the box a few days ago. Well, yeah, he's been yeah, really yeah. nice to me, been, and he's I've actually been, nice been feeding me. Now. I, I've been a better cat owner. Now. And Come here, you. I'm trying to change my food. ways. I mean, yes, eventually she has to go Look back in the box for comedic tired. purposes. But that's that's what? that's not even. Not even oh, she, uh, we already, me and Kat already talked about it. That eventually one day. No, we did not. Purposes, we never had this conversation. She, she signed a contract already. Oh, I did not. I, okay, you might have been don't sleeping, run. and I dipped your paw in. Don't 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 run it. away. What? Um. Tom, you're such a bitch. Even, what, Fuck you. What? So, Kat, uh, I what, mate? you did technically sign it sign because it. I sign. did indeed. Uh, I think that's illegal. You did a thing. Dipped it in ink and put and like put your paw on the contract and your paw print on the contract. I'm pretty sure that could be illegal because if you did that with like another person, that uh, you know, no. that would be illegal. You're, but you're a cat. There aren't cat laws. Yes. There should be. I'm fighting for. I'm fighting, fighting for cat, cat laws. you I'm fighting An for animal cat, activist. Uh, animal activist. rights activist. <laughs> An a, a activist. legitimate animal rights activist. Yeah. We're gonna have dogs <laughs> signing contracts with their owners now. Oh. <laughs> It's like a work schedule. You oh can only God. have cats work for like, like uh, twenty hours a week. They're like children. <laughs> yep. That's how it works. Everyone should know, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's like how you common knowledge. Have, it's like you how you can only have lyricals work for like five seconds at a time, or they'll get really distracted. Hmm? Look what happens anyway. Yep. What? Oh, he, he's gone. Oh, he doesn't know what we're talking. About. <laughs> What? <laughs> that right into it. That I, right into it. No, no, I did do that on purpose. Okay. So I think we should sure really appreciate what? that, um, that Nathan's <laughs> thing has, has a ball that just keeps bouncing and bouncing and more bouncing. I feel left out. I can't even see this. Bounce and then bounce and then it's going to go to another wall and decide to bounce and bounce again really quickly when it's in the wall. Bounce. This, may, maybe it's got like a really deep metaphorical meaning behind it, and maybe every time it bounces, it encounters a hard wall in its life, and it has to change its de direction. Bounce, bounce. Dave, you're looking way too, way too deep into that. Wait, no, I think he's not looking deep enough. Ah. Just water it's like, it's everywhere. Like that, it's like that wall between between pretentious and not pretentious enough. Exactly. It's like okay, I know that was extremely pretentious, but I think it can be more pretentious. <laughs> Let me just try like, this. It's like, like I'm not I'm sure whether I dislike this game because I'm too pretentious to like it, or if I'm not pretentious enough to understand it. <laughs> oh my god. My phone is almost Why bigger than these bananas. <laughs> Actually, you lose a point there. Why not both? Cat, tell us why not both. Hey, <laughs> what? Like, it's impossible to have two different things, I mean, two different things in the same sort of thing in your life. Like, it, that, it can't work. It just can't what? work. No, what? No, she makes a point. What? 
She makes a point. You can't have yes and no to be the same answer. Yeah, you, you have to have one answer. Like, you can't have two different things. It's like, you can't date two different people at the same time. You have to choose one over the other. But that's called well, a no. bag. Sorry, I've been watching our problem white girl you, like, you and your significant other both agree to have an open relationship? Okay, or that's, Mormons. That's different. Now, see, now we're getting... Now, now we're diving too deep into it. Or not deep enough. Oh, we're back at the beginning. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Okay, so, oh, oh my god, yes. you, I did Sorry, think it was a major stereotype there. So, Nathan? Guys, I have some breaking news. Dave, Nathan was saved. We have Doritos. Oh, that is amazing, but Nathan was saying We something. never have Doritos. But Nathan was saying something. Oh, I'm sorry. Does Nathan, that mean... I've been trying to play past hour now. They should talk. Okay, so, the yes or no thing? Yeah. Uh, it, you can't have... No, but you... Or... Okay, you are cutting out a little bit for us. Severely. Yeah, I'm all. Nathan, really nice stop that not in your porn. <laughs> okay, I'll be honest, like, Nathan, I'm only hearing, like, one word out of probably, of, like, ten you're saying. <laughs> okay, I kind of heard, like, I hear whispering right now, but, like... I don't know what you're saying. And, and, your, and your bouncy ball freezes every now and then on the screen and ends up on the different part of the screen. I really hate whoever just did that. You fucking deafened me. I have to hold my speaker up to my ear and that was right into my ear canal, so Wait, fuck what? you. No, you did what? I don't even know what you're talking about. Whoever, like, made the witch horror scream noise into a microphone. Did someone do that? For that's once, it wasn't me. I didn't even hear that, to be perfectly honest. I was trusted. I, I heard really it. didn't hear that. Wow. That's strange. That's weird. Yeah. Twisted, can you talk now? Oh. oh. Are you typing in chat? That's a yes and no question thing. Which I, you, can't, you can't have yes and no. You can have or. Because it's a yeah, I like question. It. Yep. I like it. Whoa. Whoa, Nathan, I think. Nathan wow. had, like, I have named an episode oh. of the podcast. <laughs> Backer noise, whatever. Episode. Twisted has the best thought process because of things like this. Wait, you actually named an episode on me, huh? Yep. Wow. I, I even put Nathan or Twisted has the best thought process. For one episode. Oh, I think it was like 35 or 33. Tom, do you want some milk? Tom. Milk is actually really bad for cats. Don't give it to him. Uh, full grown cats. Uh, Tom's a girl, by the way. Yeah, I know. Tom's a girl, therefore not full grown. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well done, Nathan. No. Do you want milk? Okay. Cat not said him. So I corrected her. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize. At least Cat, I obviously, her. Tom is a girl name. I know. I knew he was a girl. She was a girl. See, you did it again. I'm sorry. I'm what? sorry. I know Tom is actually a girl, but what? is a masculine name, so I got a little bit that's mixed like up and I forgot. Just like, like I continuously forget that Hydra is, Hydra is colorblind. That Hydra is colorblind? I'm not correct, you can't <laughs> judge me for that. Yes, you can. I forget that Hydra is colorblind sometimes. And then I immediately apologize, unless I feel like being an ass about it. I do apologize. Oh, so, so you yeah. Hydra, I remember once I, I walked into English class. And we were wearing the same color shirt, and I was like, Tony, and I pointed to your shirt, and I pointed to my shirt, and you looked so confused. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wait, we're, oh, that's right, you're colorblind, we're, we're wearing the same color, we're matching. And then I think he, like, patted me on the back, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> okay. And then I probably hugged you. I think so. <laughs> it was hilarious in hindsight, because, like, okay, got a picture, like, picture like this for a second, like, me and my black and white world. I hate to always bring my colorblindness to the fact, like attention, but um, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's. I feel like I feel like it's someone who complains about like, uh, or like always will say that like, oh, I have this disability. You never fact. complain. Uh, you, if someone forgets, you make it a joke. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, so they got a picture from like the standpoint of me why I was so confused is I see him black and white, so I see him pointing at him, basically, and then pointing at me, I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? I don't understand. And then, and then he's like, oh, same color shirt, and I'm like, that makes sense. Okay. But, <laughs> so it was sort of like, it's like he was pointing back and forth, and I'm like, I don't... What is my... 
I don't. I just. I. I. I don't. What? <laughs> what? Excuse you. I'm not sure what you're trying to say. Bless you. <laughs> Bless you. He's gonna sneeze. Is that what you're trying to say? Tell him to stop. I'm not sure if he's telling. Yeah, I think he said Tom to stop. No, I'm telling my phone to stop. What? what? Confirmation. Background noise. Episode 35. Twisted thought. Twisted thought process is the best. Was the name of background noise. Episode 35. Yep. That is true. It did happen. Best episode name okay. ever. Let's it, do it, it again. Possibly is. I should just like do for the next like thousand episodes because there's gonna be that many of them. Just make all of them about twisted. Even it'll be nice twisted here. thought process is uh, the best episode. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> What did I even say? I, I don't remember. I don't remember, but like something you said in that episode, it was like late in it, I think, and then I said Twisted Thought Process is the best. And I went back and watched it, and I'm like, yes, I know. It has to. But you said something really good or funny, I remember. Someone's gonna say something in the comments. Hey. Like, wow, you idiot. I don't even remember what you said. It's like, you guys are idiots, you guys are on the show, I, dude, I'm watching, I watch it like once, for, I watch it like 12 times in the same spot and looped it over and over and have it saved on my computer. How do you not know what it is that I did? What? What? Yeah, that's, that's people. What? That's what they Hi. think as they're typing that. That's what they type, I can already read it, I'm reading the future. Now oh. someone just write, writes that in the comments, just to spite me. <laughs> what? That'd be pretty funny. I completely lost track. Hang on. Uh, you're gonna have to rewatch the video. You're gonna have to rewatch the podcast. Yeah, just yeah, they, okay. yeah, do it. Okay. Just keep it on. Okay. It's gotta be do it. Yeah. Gordon Freeman killed my wife. <laughs> Wait, what? What? You, go, you say Gordon killed? What? You say Gordon Jesus. Freeman killed? Yes. Do you say he had to has to premeditate his wine? No, he said Gordon Freeman killed his wife. Oh. What are you doing? So the other day, like uh, Warlock, I think it was Warlock. Yeah, I know Warlock kept saying it, but one time he ended up saying Morgan Freeman saved my life. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, um, wait. <laughs> you say Morgan oh, Freeman say <laughs> That's what I think of, like, Morgan every person last name Freeman. Oh, anyone who has a last name Freeman whose voice doesn't sound like Morgan Freeman, I'm immediately disappointed. Yeah, I'm, if their I'm voice doesn't sound like Gordon yeah. Freeman, I get even angrier. Except Crispin Freeman's <laughs> voice is pretty amazing anyway. <laughs> time out, time out. Come on, please say I wasn't the only one that caught that. <laughs> wait, what Circuit <laughs> said? I didn't even catch it. No, what did he Come on, really, guys? <laughs> Circuit, please Wait, say it again. Circuit, that? please say it again. Okay. Oh, I said if their voice doesn't sound like Gordon Freeman, I I get even more angry. He never talked. Freeman doesn't talk. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And you know, for some odd reason, throughout all of Half Life, people people sit there and talk to him as if he can respond. <laughs> I know, right? It's like. <laughs> it's like Gordon, I need you to help me. I can't watch it well, but and it's, it's like, alright, I'm glad you're gonna help. It's the like, what if he says no? What if he gently <laughs> isn't interested? The players just start shaking their head back and forth. He's no, like, no, I'm not gonna help you. He's Good, like, no, I'll no. do it. Good. <laughs> Call me. What? <laughs> no. That was, was that, that was not me. Who was, who was that? Wait. <laughs> what is that noise? What the heck? <laughs> Dave, that's coming to your head. Please. My cat wanted to go outside, and it's like 2 in the morning, so I'm like, nah. Is that your cat making a noise? That was Tom, my cat, yeah. Please. I have to meet you guys, because I'm walking upstairs now, so I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Hang on, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. There's six people on the you podcast guys, right, right now. I just have my mic muted. So this starfish looks like a person running. Starfish, romancing swim. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I tried to make a starfish clay thing, and it, it just looks like... Part Patrick, maybe? Maybe Patrick. Put some shorts Patrick. on it, give it some eyes. It looks like a guy wearing a hood, actually. Because okay. of the way that the, the top thingy is. Okay. Oh, like okay. Oh, I'm not very good at starfish. Okay, so... I'm just here, ripping his name apart starfish now. starfish is you take a star and then throw it in water. Starfish. Boom! Logic broken. It's like a. Have you seen that video with jellyfish? <laughs> jellyfish. Jellyfish. Take jellyfish. Jellyfish. Make a sandwich. Delish. Jellyfish. Jellyfish. 
But, Best um, song ever. Oh, man, man. Mark had me going. Hmm? What? You, you did the lollipop uh, song, except with just... Yeah, just you got okay, me. so oh, this randomly just popped into my head for some <laughs> odd reason. Um, <laughs> what is your guys' opinions of parody artists? Like, what? musical parody artists. Parody. Uh, uh, like, oh, uh, Rick Weird Al? Yeah. <laughs> because he started doing videos again recently. There, he started doing parodies again recently. Yeah. Uh, just for a while, just sort of dropped off the face of the earth, and everyone was like, "Wait, what happened?" Well, he does because now he's he back. Every, yeah. So, like, okay, just to for, like a little bit of information about uh, Louis Dow and his career. He's been making music in more decades than like Michael Jackson, uh, and name basically any other famous person combined. Like they they made a comparison yeah. that he's been putting out music more decades than Michael Jackson, Elvis, like. All these amazing people ever did. That's actually a very good point. He's right been there. doing music for like four decades now. Oh. Yeah, seriously, he's just he's still going. And, and like, what's funny is strong. He didn't, he didn't thing even is, look that old either. Right? He's like in it. Isn't he like in his like sixties or something almost? I yeah. honestly think he is. Yeah. What's funny is people don't respect parody artists. No, and I'm they like, don't, why not? Because, and, and they're like, well, they're spacing it off a different song. Yeah, but they're changing all the words. Exactly. There's still creativity and, involved. And it's not, he's it's not like they're just still singing it himself. He still has to have he good... He has to have a good singing voice. Talent. He has to re if you, has to re re if you like, okay, look at Weird Al's most recent vid uh, album. Which one? You re oh, the album. most recent album. Uh, and do you realize how many different singing styles he has to perfect, basically? to make that album entertaining. Yeah. He can sing so many different styles of, like, he can sing so many different genres. It's, it's amazing. If people didn't bash on parody artists so badly, he would literally be, like, one of the number one, like, yeah, like he, contenders. He has so much well, the thing is that musical genius he, in him. It's the kind of thing where I think he has enough popularity in him that he's already, that he's already up into, you know, like, he's already up into, I don't want to say he's one of the top, but, you know, he, He's already popular in a sense. I would say, without a shadow of a doubt, he's gonna. Of, I'm gonna conclude the future here, uh, that he's gonna be the most known parody artist of the, ever. Yeah, that's I think like, it's less I, that I people that sell. Besides I, him, I know it's a few, but. I think it's less that people in general are, are disrespecting. It. It's, I think it's more that people like like you know like um recruiters not recruiters um uh, talent scouts and all that. Up in Hollywood, they're not, you know, they're not looking in the right places, you know. Yeah, you no know, recruiter of like a, a good singer is gonna take a parody artist seriously. Of course not. Well, this podcast a weird okay, album. They're grossing a couple of million. This podcast went by so fast. Yeah, like, we're 58 yeah. minutes in. I felt like it's been like, a minute, like, like like an hour, and I'm like, we're almost like. Wow. Yeah, this felt like it went by really fast, yeah. Nice. This yeah, was a really good podcast. Yeah. Like, yeah. We've talked well, about I've only been in for one minute, two minutes now. So. Okay, well, that's because you just came back in. <laughs> well, I mean, combine them all, I'm sure. I have a topic. You have a topic? Mm -hmm. Yes, I, that I thought of. Okay. Recently. So, hey, um... Off. Yeah. Uh, I don't really don't remember what I got it from, but... Basically, in tech class, uh, we're doing communication systems, and we have to choose a specific mode of communication that we're supposed to research and make a PowerPoint on. And um, I chose Skype because it's the most interesting one on the list, other than like I don't know Morse code or, or like Braille or something like that. Um, I mean, you could do texting, but that's so wide. Yeah. I wouldn't want to do something like that. So. Um, Basically, we're supposed to research our thing, and uh, I learned some really interesting stuff about Skype, actually. Really? And it's it's really, actually very cool. Um, there was a bunch of guys that made Skype, and um, they didn't just start making Skype. It was based on other programs. Um, basically, there's this thing called Napster. Yeah, you might have heard of it. Oh, yeah. Um, and Napster was shut down because of um, illegal music sharing. 
mm-hmm. um, because it was basically a file sharing program. And then they made this thing called Kaza, K-A-Z-A-A. And um, basically that was a gigantic file sharing thing and it allowed people to share pictures and videos as well as music. So um, that was really, really popular. And uh, then people, they started to abuse the music sharing thing again and illegally download music and all that stuff. So that was, uh, (coughs) that got into uh, trouble with the law. And then um, that was bought by the guys that made Skype and they fixed it up and they sold it to someone else for lots of money and then they set out to make Skype. Loads of money. Yeah. And then they added, they made Skype and they added like things like voice voice calling and video calling and all these fancy things as well as the file sharing thing. And so that that's what made Skype which is actually kind of cool because there's a lot of like Drama in the background. Yeah. Next gen music pirating. Because it's okay. I'm gonna right say Skype is amazing. I love okay, Skype. Like, I, I didn't know how Very good Skype true. was until I started, you know, long distance relationship such. Yeah. Oh my god, that's great. If you are in a long distance relationship, Skype is like your savior. God. That's the way to god go. send. It because like, literally, like, there's one point where I was really, you know, missing, you know, Rachel. And um, uh, I'm just like, hey, c- can we Skype? And the second I saw her, I was just like ten times better. I'm like, ah. Uh, yeah, exactly. So nice. I've been, no more stress. Yeah, I've been in long distance relationships before, and they uh, Skype is literally your gonna your savior. Yeah. yeah. And it's like it's, uh, it's your literally savior. the one. Yeah, exactly. Like Emma, Emma, and Zach. Yeah, exa- exactly, dude. Like, They're the best couple, okay? Like, honestly speaking, like, it, not, like, it's, I don't know if it's weird to say, but they are, like, one of the best couples I know, and, like, they've only met in real life once. Mm-hmm. It's crazy. It's awesome, though. Although, he might be coming up this summer, so. Really? Fingers I'm gonna, crossed. I need to meet him this year. <laughs> He's finally gotten his passport for America, Wait, really? so. But, yeah. uh, this time, I need to meet him. Because I yes, know you're the only one that met him. I was the only person besides Emma who met him in person. I need to meet him. Because I think at that point, people were either busy or for some reason pissed off at Emily and Zach. I didn't know either of them very well at that time. They, they are, yeah, I was really the only one who was good friends with them and who was completely free. Yeah, exactly. At the time. Yeah, so. I, I am very good friends with them now. Uh, I've gotten close to them. But I, back then, I didn't really know them that well. I knew, uh... MLMLA's older brother. <laughs> why do we keep talking about that? <laughs> yeah, like, why are you calling her? I don't know, but it's fun. Oh, no, that, that's just my name for her. I just... Black. When I'm really lazy, instead of using a shorter name, I'm just like, MLMLA. 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 She has a longer name. I know, but it also rolls off the tongue easier. MLMLA. 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 Instead of Emily, it's MLMLA. Say five times fast. Mark, try say MLMLA. 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 How do I know you people? <laughs> uh, I, I'm just saying, like, wait a second. Why? How do I know these people? How do I know any of these? Um, I think I became friends with you through Tony. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. As did I. She's like, here, That's meet my true. black friend. <laughs> okay. Speaking, I, I, uh, I introduced uh, Circuit to all of you. Technically, yeah. And anyone watching at home! For all these. And anyone watching the video too, I introduced them to Circuit. I drew. Technically, you, you introduced yourself to everyone. That's true. Uh, for Dave and I, Hank introduced the new Hydro, so basically it all started with Hank, which was kind of... For me and Twisted, anyway. Yeah, that's true. That's kind of troll. Hank is at fault, at fault for all that. <laughs> Damn it, Hank. <laughs> <laughs> Hank, this is me. Hank just sits there thinking. Hank's Hank's watching this. Wow! Another Hank reference. Wow! 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 Cracker! (laughs) What have we started? (laughs) What did you say, Mark? Is is the title of this going to be like a lyrical mating call or something like that? Lyrical mating call. That's about (laughs) it. 
could uh, could you make the noise again? No. I hope you wait. You're you're down, right? Damn, what? Your roommate can't hear that. Never mind. I was gonna say I hope you. No, uh, I'm back home. At you. I know. <laughs> My roommate would be like, Mark, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, I, I just want to hear, dude. What the fuck are you doing in the background? Just just <laughs> hear in the background for out of nowhere. Just, what the fuck, man? Exactly. <laughs> but one, of the, one thing I always find it's uh, funny is when someone talks in the background. Like, sometimes people make a lot of noises in the background and it's kind of annoying, but like, someone talking in the background and be like, oh, I'm sorry for the background noise. I'm like, you know how ironic it is that there's background noise in a podcast called Background Noise and we are the background noise? It's like background noiseception at that point, and I can't deny it. No, this is probably what you'd hear. Mark, go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> It's not, it's not, it's not oh, my bedtime yet. I don't care. <laughs> you can't. But, but do. roommate, go to bed. But mom, I mean roommate. <laughs> but mom. <laughs> but mom, I'm not your mom. I'm mom, your roommate. Go to bed. You're not you guys me. remember when um, Layton was banned for one minute instead of? Uh, I know. I, that was so me. funny. Okay, so no, instead of give, so I like to do things a little differently since I'm an admin and uh, on this uh, TTT server I mean, uh, instead of giving him two plays for already having a T I think uh, I just banned him for a minute <laughs> he stabbed you because he wanted to give E the round it was the crescent I think it yeah, was that's it yep. and so instead of uh, and then <laughs> he, so we have a KOS word it's Justin if you say Justin you uh it got killed immediately. Uh, uh, there's a whole story behind that. Maybe it'll cover in one day on the podcast. I don't feel like going through that now. Um, but you also you hear, hey, he's it's brother. Uh, uh, so you guys uh, watching, you know who Tibley is. Tibley's been on the podcast before. He is Tibley's younger brother. And all you hear when Tibley is, is <laughs> uses his mic is late in the background. Yelling, Johnson! <laughs> Johnson! And then Tibley's like, I got this new bird, and I've been having these really weird bird problems recently. <laughs> bird problems. And he all, as he say these bird problems, he's like, Justin, Justin. Come on, you guys gotta reenact it. Cat, you please hide your be latent. Okay. Three, two, one, go. What? Cat, we were reenacting it. You're Tibley, I'm latent. Wait, oh, you are? I'm yep. sorry, my dad was talking to me and I was like, what? What are my you guys talking Oh, he's not here anymore. Hi, he, can't, he can't hear you anyway, I have a headset. Bye, Dad. And, hi, Dad. Bye, Dad. Bye, 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 Dad. Love me. <laughs> Love me. Alright, three, two, one, go. Wait, who am I? You're Tibley. <laughs> uh, aren't you supposed to? I don't, I don't know, I can't do this. Just talk about birth. Birds. All right, so um, yeah, I've been, I've got this bird, and it's Justin! like really. <laughs> Justin, I can't even do this. The fact that we decided to act this out, I don't know what made us come to this decision. But yeah, I didn't decide to do it. It's it. a thing it now. It was Nathan's idea, and I love it. it was Who my chose idea. me to be Tibly? Like, because I think I'll be offended that I'm him so badly. No, but you brought it up. You were like, and Tibly was all talking about like, oh, I got this new bird, and I've been having bird problems. Justin! Oh, yeah, she do a better job, but... Voice like this. Justin! Justin! <laughs> Justin! <Why>? Navi, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, man. You know what I'm saying. Okay, I just, like, zoned out and just watched Nathan's ball <laughs> bouncing around. I, to be <laughs> honestly <laughs> speaking, for as long as it's been up, I've been stare. I haven't looked at anything but that ball. Just... <laughs> The typing, dude. I've been staring oh, at it for a really long time, and I'm talking and staring at it. Like in the back of my mind, I'm like, "Where is it gonna bounce next? Is it gonna go through the A and R?" I, I keep watching. And R right, and watch I'm like, "Oh, the R and E, and it's the L." Oh, no, I, 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 I keep watching until it hits you know, like perfectly in the corner, and then it reverses the entire thing. Yeah, exactly. I love for it when it goes like right in between like the R and the E, like it does right now. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we're so easily amused. How are we college students? Oh god, you're right. We're college students. You, you guys oh, no. are easily amused? Dude, I've been sitting at a blank screen for this whole time. I have my monitor off. Wait, really? Jake. No, I've been, Jake. I've been, looking, at, I've been looking at ways to turn white. Jake, anything, everything you need to amuse you is just tall girls. 
Just, just, just yeah. <laughs> Me? Yep. Oh yeah, you're really four. short. Yeah, I'm really yes. short. Remember the Judge Judy thing? Ain't good oh my goodness, that was amazing! <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, oh, only, circuit, oh, there are tall girls at Rutgers, don't yeah, worry. Yeah. Tons of them. Tons of them. Well, at Brookdale, you said that there are a lot. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, at cool. Rutgers, the, um, I've got... Yeah, every once in a while I have to stand up like really straight just to feel taller than them, and I'm pretty tall, so... <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty tall. I'm six feet. Like, yeah. I think I'm probably one of the tallest people here, if not the tallest person. Here. Would, you're the tallest How tall are you? Six. Oh, so you're a whole half a foot taller than me. Uh, I am five eleven. So y yeah. Like oh, everyone's I think, taller than me. This Tony, is not Tony. I, I think you're shorter in the bowling picture because I've got like a good like yep. two inches or so on I've, you. I've grown. Uh, an inch or two, like, recently. Oh, Tibley. I think I've shrunk. Tibley is At least shrunk. I hope I have. Tibley, uh, you are is... taller than Layton and probably the same height as Tibley. No, Layton's taller than Tibley. No, is he? Yes! What? Layton Tibley told me he was like, Layton, Layton told me he was like 4'11". Uh, no, I, Tibley, no, yeah, Tibley is shorter than Layton. Oh yeah, Tibley's like 5 foot, he's so... Yeah, he's like, like 5 foot. So, like... Tibley is such an awesome guy, but, like, he was so adorable the one time he was just talking about how short he was. <laughs> he was like, he was like, yeah, well, that's really small. <laughs> He's like, I'm a small guy. <laughs> In more ways than one. No, don't Oh, goodness, no. No. Oh, no. No, it was, no. Tibley is so <laughs> innocent. I'm kidding. Like, I'm kidding. I'm sorry, Tibley, please don't kill me. No. You gotta put that mark. Great that one with Warlock a link one time. And Warlock clicked it, and he was like, "Don't click it, click it." And he was like, it's "Not bad." And Warlock's like, "It's about a TV." <laughs> I, I know he's I cutting out. I know out. he's cutting out, but I know exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> uh, we're, we're, there's uh, someone who's staff on our server named Warlock, and he's pretty young. And there was a link once. <laughs> How long has the podcast yeah, been going on? Uh, an hour and twelve minutes. Wow. It's a good podcast. It is. Jen Lee's hey, Nathan. Yeah. I was looking on the Steam Disco community workshop thing. They're making it. There's a CZ75 comic being, after being posted. Pretty cool. It's, it looks like Borderlands-esque. I think you'd like it. I'd link you with that. I don't. I was waiting for you to tell me it looked a bit like five skin that I what well, five seven skin do you have? The skin I made, remember? The one he made. Oh, the mate. oh no, it doesn't look like that. Okay. You made a skin, mate. I made multiple skins, but only one of them was actually pretty good. Skin, mate. Whoa. Skin, mate. Why is Nathan dying? Okay, so, so now that cat's gone, we should just end it while she's gone. Let's go. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I think we'll end it when she gets back. Gotcha. Like, As hi everyone. Back. Okay, that that was episode thirty-seven. Goodbye. Bye. Make sure you make sure you do that like right after. Wait. Oh, um, what's his name out of me? Who? What's his name? Bettens. Oh, do you mind Facebook? Yeah. No. He also posted Bettens wants pizza. And updated his cover photo to a dog. That's his dog. Hmm. Oh, best. Okay, do you want a quick little Benton story? One time sure. I was on Skype with Benton's, and his dog was there, and I was playing through the speakers, and I yelled, "Dog, sick him, get Benton's!" And he, his yeah, I, dog I attacked Benton's. The dog attacked. <laughs> <laughs> it was the greatest you, thing. You're telling us about that. Well, Tony, you and the dog have a lot in common, Dude, so... like, I know the cold color by thing, but really, me and dogs get along really well with weird. Dude, I love dogs. Like, dogs and cats, both. Some, some breeds of dog can actually see some colors. Mm -hmm. There are some dogs that see the color red. I don't see red. You mean there's some dogs there's that are well more confused? No, there are, there are dogs that see more color oh. than they.
The, what, what's it? There's a, a type of shrimp, I think, and it's, it can see the world like the most colors. Oh, the uh, oh yes, yeah, right. Mantis, oh, yeah, it's like, mantis shrimp. Like, mantis shrimp. Which yeah, isn't actually it. like a shrimp. It's just related to it, not directly. Yeah, and it, we start doing it, some it, genetic it, modifications, people. Let's get on it. it. it I, I want those mutant babies. It's it punches uh, our cream. Cat, so hard. Mean, it, shrimp, I yeah, I'd like nope, they're nope, so just fast. Go, we're just going to take the genes this. out. We're just going to take the genes for the eyes and then put them in. And put it's them like getting shot with a twenty-two caliber bullet. What? Yeah, it, it's also so hot that it gonna it makes a flash of light and boils the water around us. Yeah. What? When it snaps. Oh. Yeah. Oh, the thing? The shrimp? It, or whatever? It, it, when it attacks, it, it, the snap is so fast, and so it, it heats up around it and makes it flash light. Uh. Uh, not cells, but strike. Oh, okay. I thought it was like, I thought it was like a shrimp that was, just, that was just like sitting there at the bottom of the ocean glowing and, and burning water. No, no, it doesn't do that. That would be no, awesome. it's, it's punches literally move so fast, and I say punches because the only ones that go that fast are the ones with literally, like, clubs as hands. There are two different types. There's, like, clubs and spears, and the spears mm -hmm. have, you know, sharp arms, and they're not nearly as fast as the clubs. Mm -hmm. And the clubs will literally punch so hard that it'll just completely crack a clamshell easily. No problem. Awesome. Like, if you ever see, like, mantis shrimp attacking a crab, you just see, like, the entire front of the crab's head just explode. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> like, oh, God. Take it's a that, crab Ida. that effectively just got What's shot with when you have to protect nature from itself? Mm hmm? It's gonna, no, seriously, it's gonna get to, it's gonna get to a point where we're gonna have, we're gonna have, we're gonna have animals going extinct from just being overhunted by other animals. And there's gonna be nothing, there's gonna be almost nothing we can do about it besides killing the other animals. Yes, but mantis shrimp, from what I've heard, are very territorial. So that's why there aren't that many. Because ah. if they weren't territorial, they would literally like hunt in packs, I think, and they would just destroy everything in their wake. But they're usually solo animals. Mm hmm. That means that they don't breed nearly as much as everything else. So the crab population stays Didn't pretty much the same. Key, huh. Well, I don't know. Did the cat die? Yes. And I couldn't find the any key on the I, keyboard. I know. Uh, Tony, check the box. She's out of the box, remember? I let her out for a little bit. Uh, why would you do that? I mean, like... She's complaining a lot. Yeah, but she always does. I mean, what? I, I didn't... I, oh. <laughs> a guy she named watches... Kim who isn't Korean. A what? A guy named Kim who isn't Korean. Is that supposed to be not coming or something? Apparently. By the way, I'm back, just so you know. Oh. No, I, you're not. I, I think I've met a guy named Kim who was white before. Hmm. There used to be a girl on our street Korean. whose name was Kim. What happened to her, Dave? Oh, okay, um, I guess, I mean, it's getting pretty late. Alright, well, does anyone have another topic they want to talk about? Bacon. Bacon. Bacon is amazing. Enough said. Enough Bacon. said. That's all you can say is amazing. Is amazing. And then there's going to be that one guy who just has to raise his hand in the middle of class and go, I don't uh, like bacon. I'm vegetarian. Yeah, or worse, that guy. No, I'm kidding, vegetarians. My sister's been vegetarian for eight years, and I respect it greatly. I just, I, I can't live without meat, so I'm sorry. Don't hate me, please. Well, I couldn't either. It's it's personal choice, and I respect yours. Yep. Um, I'm not right with vegetarians, as long as they're not the kind that, that get all accused of members of the vegetarian demographic today. We didn't lose any demographics today. Oh, this has been episode... <laughs> Wow, my favorite episode. Yeah. Okay. This is <laughs> oh wait, did you end it already? No, I didn't. I didn't. Oh, oh that was this has been background noise episode thirty-seven, <laughs> and I dispute a lot of gibberish out of my mouth hole. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Bye.